Hello and welcome to Shredder's Zoo. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Shredder and this is my zoo. Today we're going to be carrying on with the building of the small animal house. This time out we're going to be doing an enclosure for the Jaboas. And that is going to go out through these doors right here. At the moment we have completely empty space, no building whatsoever, and we're going to build out that way. I also want to make a couple of cosmetic changes to both the uh, Compi enclosure and the Pegamastix enclosure up here. Um, just a couple of little uh, uh, changes just at the top there to add a little bit of light a little bit of uh, daylight so we can uh, so I think they'll look better without quite so much just blank wall at the back there and the uh, same sort of thing with the combis that's what I'm going to do so first of all before we get into the building I want to do a little bit of naming of some of the dinos um, I put out um, I, yeah, as always I say you know if you want something named after you put it down in the comments and if I've got it uh, I will name it after you I won't reserve names so if I don't have a creature I'm not going to keep you back and then name it to when I do get one you'll have to ask again later on but if I do have something and um, you um, preferably I want uh, one each so if you've had something named try not to ask for something else unless no one wants a particular dinosaur in which case we, might, we could double up but uh, yeah uh, the request for names went absolutely crazy last week I've got loads to do so uh, let's dive in and start off with a couple over here some compies let's go right into the copy enclosure to, uh, to do two in here uh, I think there's a two compies I think yeah, so I've got quite a few compies, so if you want compies, there's loads here. Um, so we've had, so we did Connor last time out, but we have um, Ariana and uh, McKenna. Now I've done two for this one, but basically because I've got loads of compies. And um, this one, if I get my notes here, I should have this somewhere here. Or is it? Oh yeah, is it? Um, no, 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 hold on. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, Joshua McCauley. These were named after his nieces, who apparently are fans of the series. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, th those are for you. Those two there. Um, yeah, they will. Well, <laughs> I can't see a thing when I'm running around to this enclosure. Let's get out of here, and I should have some pegos as well. So let's jump in, and we'll go into. Uh, th I think all of my pegos have now been named. Well, I had four of them. We had four names. So let's have a look here. We have, and I need to sort of say who they're named by. Um, Pickpocket. This was named um, by Enzo de Leon. And that was his suggestion. We have Midnight. That's one is. Uh, this one was from Gunner Hill. This one's named after his dog who got hit by a car, which is really sad. I don't know. Um, hopefully your dog is, is okay. He didn't, he didn't let me know whether the dog was uh, actually okay, whether how he's doing. Uh, you know, keep me updated on that. Um, we have Lev and Levi. Uh, we have Lev from Lev's Creations and Levi was from uh, Max Millington. Ask for that one. So those are all my Pegos are now named. So as far as these small animals go, of the ones that we've done so far, we've still got plenty of compies, but all the Pegos are now done. So let's run over to the lake, because there's quite a few names over by the tell you what, no, I see what before we go to the lake, we'll go over to the dive bear enclosure because I've got one dive bear uh, to be named. And then we'll go over to the lake for the rest of the names. So uh, we have Connaby is our um, dire bear here. This one was named, was requested by Connaby. That's his uh, name there. So that's the dire. So both dire bears are now named. So no more dire bears on offer. So next up, we'll go over to the lake. Now the lake names they were incredibly popular. Uh, and I'll just give you a quick rundown of what's available actually if you want some names after you. My spinos are named. Um, we have, let's go for the turtles first of all. So I think, yeah, I've got one turtle available. Uh, the other one, this one is uh, Isotrot. This one was suggested by uh, Love Geckos. Uh, this was a Roald Dahl book, not one of, I was familiar with. I didn't, uh, I've not heard of that one before, but it's a Roald Dahl book um, and it's of course uh, taught us backwards. And uh, we've locked up a little bit. Oh, no, wow, there we go. That was a big lock up. So, uh, yeah, so we've got one turtle available. Um, Diplocanus, have we got... Uh, no, they're all they're all named. We've got no more um, no more Diplocanus available. Capros, we have... Uh, yeah, they're all named. The only new one here is Ivy. Uh, this one was uh, for... If I can find it, this one was... Uh, Ellie Bonnick's snake was called Ivy. Once one named after her snake so that one's for you now there were quite a few people who wanted capros and i only had one available so unfortunately the everybody else who's asked for a capo um you can have to request something else because i didn't have them for you i'm, I'm ever so sorry about that we've completely run out of uh, capros to name uh we're going to dive over to um the baryonyx we've got two baryonyx to name we have barry allen 
uh, suggested by Aiden, I think it was, um, Aiden Doyle who wanted uh, Barry Allen. And uh, we also have David, it was uh, a while ago, um, David Cambich, hopefully, hopefully I've pronounced your name right, I wanted uh, a Baryonyx name after him. So that's those two, so all the Baryonyx are now named, so no more of them. Uh, no more Capros, so uh, yeah, we, a lot of these leg ones are all pretty much fully named up now. Both of my Sarkos are named, and again, Sarkos was an amazingly popular choice. A lot of people wanted Sarkos, and they only had one available, so I went first come, first served, and that was for Johnny, uh, who wanted a Sarko named after him there. So that was that one, and I think, uh, let me just check my list, make sure of, did I get everyone? That was Pegos, Diabetes, Bionix. Sarkos, Capros, oh no, we've got one more very important one that I want to do, and I think that's everybody we've done this week. We have frogs, and we have uh, we have Alfie, who's the frog, and uh, this was named after Crackshot Diva's son, who's three years old, and apparently is a big fan of my Frog Watch series and my Zoo series. I want to say massive uh, hello to Alfie, this one is for your frog there, and uh, thanks for watching uh, all the videos. Uh, yeah, so I think that is that is everyone. Um, so that's all the Capos. Uh, yep, yep. So there's only one more which I want to do, which is a Jaboa. Somebody asked me for some Jaboas, but we haven't done our enclosure yet. So I will do that one uh, once we get the Jaboas in their enclosure. So I think uh, I think it's about time we started the the building. There's a lot of names to get through. So if you want something named after you, um, preferably I'd like to name it after you rather than uh, you know, just suggesting random names, but if it's of you or a pet or someone, family member, you want something named after them, uh, that would be that would be awesome. So, Jaboas, we're going to be doing this. So we'll be spawning in a, a few more Jaboas later on, but I want to start building our enclosure. So just before we do that, I want to make a couple of quick changes to the two enclosures that we've done so far, just to kind of make them a little bit brighter and uh, maybe look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to grab the resources I need and we'll get building. Okay, so I'm starting off with the uh, the Pego enclosure. What I'm going to do is get rid of this row of walls. And I think I'm going to get rid of uh, this one and this one here as well. And the ceilings here as well. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is, is putting in a little bit of glass in here. So let's just get rid of that. So I think what I want to do is uh, put, not that one, this one here. Put that like that. And then over on the other side, like so. Um, and then we'll place the uh, the roofs, glass roofs, so we'll have these going along. We can get it in the right place. Let's uh, snap, would be nice. Would be good if we could. Let's try coming out this way over here. There we go, that's where we want it. There we go. Uh, okay, so it was uh, number four, yeah. So we'll get these going all the way along here, and let's see if I can actually get back in before we uh, lock ourselves out into here. Now that just kind of uh, just opens up this enclosure I think and just makes it look a little bit a little bit nicer, a little bit brighter and uh, why can't I get it from this angle? That's so frustrating. There we go, got it! There we go, so look how much light that lets in. That's that's really really nice. Perfect. Um, I actually want to do something a little bit special above there. Let's just go out and let's do that right now I think. Quite good. I want to do the same sort of thing with the compi enclosure just kind of so it looks a bit nicer. There we go, and then what we're going to do, because we're going to have an enclosure up here, I think. Um, let me see, how's this going to come out? It comes out like that. So then I think what I'm going to do, uh, let's try it like this. We'll see how that works. I think that might look quite nice. And then the special part would be, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this to work. Will it snap to there? Does it not on this side. No, okay, so what I need to do is build up the wall. I basically want to mirror this one so it actually comes out. I think that would actually give that quite a nice uh, feel. So I think I'm going to have to build something a little bit different to see if I can get that to come out. Let me mess around see if I can get it to work. Okay, I think this will work. So I just placed the ceiling here so I can get this uh, the sloped wall to come out in the right place. And then I'm going to just basically um, place the uh, sloped roofs all the way along here. That should work out quite nicely. And like this, and then one more to snap in the right place. There we go, we got that. Right, okay, so that should be fine. And then what I can do, um, let me think, I can probably, for now, get rid of these ones. I don't think I need these here. I'll get rid of all of that. There we go. So I think that's going to give it quite a unique kind of look. So there'll be another enclosure at this point here, I think. 
and uh, there may even be more higher up. I may even do a third floor on this one. We'll see how we go. But that's going to be for the future. I just want to kind of get that detail in. Um, just to sort of look, I think that will look quite nice. And I want to do something very similar on the other side for the uh, the compies. So let me just uh, dive in there and we'll have a go at doing that as well. Uh, so let's just quickly dive around here. Yeah, so we're going to do exactly the same on this side. So we'll uh, take out these walls. Uh, we do have a pillar there that could alter what we do. We'll see. Ah, and we've got... Okay, so we're gonna, it's going to change up this entire area here. That's going to be fine. We'll get rid of this and all these. There we go. And then we'll need to take that as well. What about these pillars? I can easily change it. We can get some smaller pillars, I reckon. Um, and we'll get rid of that one. So that was a small one. Okay, well, let's get rid of that as well. Okay, there we go. I think we may have just broken the pillar, but that's fine. We can fix that. Okay, so that's fine. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm basically just going to do exactly the same thing. We'll stick in uh, a roof like that. I may need to get some more of these. I might run out. We'll see how many we've got. Get these in like so. One more at the end. Oh, come on. No, there we go. And then we can get in. That's going to go like so. There we go. So that's perfect. And I think that really just opens up the enclosures and we'll just really brighten it up. And then we can do another similar thing. What we could do in actual fact, what might change out, is I wonder whether we could do this. Um, so I'm not going to snap in the right place, I don't think. Let's get out. Put, if I put our ceiling there, and we'll go... Uh, how am I going to do this? Like that. So we'll go straight out. I think that might look pretty awesome. So let's see if we can get these in here like that. That would be perfect. I got enough. Oh, I think I've got just the right number. There we go. Brilliant. And then I can get rid of those things there. Get rid of that and that. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. And then we're going to have another enclosure just here. Yeah, I like that a lot. So how would we go about uh, just fixing up this bit here? I don't know. I think I might need another wall on top. So I don't think I can... Oh, ah, yes, hold on. Let's get that one. Oh, is that, that's... Oh, I don't think that's going to work, is it? Not like that. Hmm. Okay, what about... Let's just stick these on here. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Hmm. No, I'm going to have to... Uh, we'll have to leave that until we build out the rest of the enclosure. But I, we can definitely get it done. I think we'll just need to put on like a ceiling along uh, this point. Um, and so we can get like an upside down uh, slope wall that might not line up properly. But we'll have to see how we go. But yeah, I like that. I think that's going to look really good. Let's go and see how it looks up inside. And then we'll get started on the Jaboa enclosure. Ooh, let's go inside and see... So you can see how much light that lets in. It looks a lot nicer. Oh, that looks brilliant. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, that, that really changes out how it looks. It's definitely not quite so dry as it was before. Yeah, um, I like that a lot. Okay, so I guess we can probably do a similar thing to the uh, Jaboa uh, thing. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these doors because they were just there to keep the thing closed. We're going to have an open doorway so people can just walk in and out and not worry too much about it. So I need to get the adobe stuff. We're going to continue with the desert theme, I think, especially for the Jaboas, obviously going to be a, a desert kind of enclosure. Um, similar with the um, the, the Pegamastics, I gave them a desert enclosure. We'll give something very similar to the Jaboas. So we'll go out here and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got some adobe ceilings here. So the first thing we want to do is build out the enclosure. So uh, let me think how we've got, this is where the Oh yeah, that's the little staff entrance to be able to get through into the uh, the Pego enclosure. So we don't want to go too far back. I reckon we can go out one back though. And we'll probably put in a wall at this point here. So this will be where the visitors come in and look out. So the enclosure itself is going to be over this side. Um, I reckon we want to go back... Th uh, now the Jabos are very small. How big an enclosure? Again, I mean, they're all small. This is the small animal enclosure. Now I've given them... The Pegos had... Three at this point and two at that point, isn't it? The ceiling's uh, mm -hmm. thickness and the compies had, I think, three all the way around. Um, which is quite a large enclosure. I think 
We don't, maybe don't need to go quite so big. Let's build out two for now, and then we'll probably have them an area where there's uh, maybe three, three wide. And we can go in like that, and then the uh, visitors will want another two. So I'm going to build out this um, the, the floor here and put in a few walls. So we don't need to be massive now. I think we want to go a little bit bigger. What I could do is have it in kind of an L shape. So maybe come out one more this way. And we'll have the uh, the outer limits here. And then maybe... Yeah, I think that'd be quite good. We'll have like sort of... The visitors can be in a kind of a squarish area. And then we'll have all this bit for the, uh, the Jaboas. I think that'll look quite nice. That's probably about big enough. I think, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is build the walls all the way around. Uh, it should be like so. Uh, we'll have to get rid of these trees as well. And that'll be kind of in a way, because again, we've got the the Ecos mods in on the server. So any kind of uh, decorations for trees and bushes and things, uh, we can put in ourselves, rather than having to go with the natural trees. Uh, as nice as that looks, um, I want to put in my own decorations uh, how I want it. And uh, yeah, so what I'm thinking is at some point, oh that's wrong, at some point in the future if people are interested and might want to do, maybe do a, like a live stream of um, oh no, of fi fixing up uh, old enclosures like decoration in the Ecos mods, it's definitely something that needs doing at some point. Let's try and move this around, that's what I want, yep. Uh, yeah, so people are interested in maybe, oh God, yeah, oh that's right, that's right, uh, in, in doing that one because there's a lot of things, especially, so, I mean, you can just look over there at the, the beaver and the uh, Dedicurus enclosure, it's pretty dry and pretty empty. Uh, the beavers, by the way, need to come out of there and we need to put in something else in there. Um, the beavers need to go down by the lake. There is an empty enclosure by the lake uh, next to the, uh, the Sarkos. Uh, I think, or is it the, which one is it? frogs are in there. Is that the one next to the frogs? Yeah, the one next to the frogs, I think, opposite the turtles. I think that one's empty. Um, so uh, the beavers are going to go down there because they live in the water. And then something else needs to go in here because we've got two houses. Uh, that, that's the Data Curious um, housing and that one there is the beaver housing. Um, these are all names, by the way. Uh, we could probably do with getting another Data Curious. We've only got the one. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I need to separate out these two, get the data curious over there where it should be. But these, this area needs decorating massively. And a lot of the uh, the other older enclosures will definitely need updating a bit. So that's something that would be good for a live stream, I think, at some point in the future. I'm not sure when I would do that um, if, if I was to do it. But yeah, okay, anyway, enough distractions. Let's get on with the uh, Jaboa enclosure. Okay, so here we go. This is the little enclosure the Jaboras are going to go in. Uh, I've done a similar thing uh, with the other two enclosures that we did earlier with just the uh, the sloped uh, roo glass roofs at the top there just to allow the light in to really open up this thing. I think it will definitely make improvements to uh, how these enclosures look. This one's a little bit smaller because the Jaboa is uh, very, very tiny and I think um, you know, even compared to some of the other ones it is probably one of the smallest things we have in the game. Uh, so uh, yeah, basically we need to separate out the uh, visitors from the Jaboas. I've put in the staff entrance already. That is going to basically just a little corridor around the back, and this is where we're going to access in. So uh, this uh, this point here, we're going to have yeah, just right here is where we're going to put in the glass uh, walls. We're going to make sure we need to get them in the same places. I th that's not where I wanted it. Uh, uh, pick up. There we go. That's not where I wanted it at all. Uh, let's try that again. I think that's where I want it. Facing away. That's not where I put it. That. Oh my god. Uh, rage. Rage. Okay. So we have to fix up the uh, the doorway. It's fine. We can do that. No problem. <laughs> right. Anyway, we need to kind of get these lined up now. Uh, that's not where we want it. Oh come on. No. Oh god. They're all completely wrong. Uh, Fine, maybe I'll just try and line up, maybe, is that the best place for it? I don't know, we'll, we'll try it. And then we would want, yeah, we're going to move into like at this point. Okay, let's see how that looks. That's not where we had it. Like that, how, how, do, you, how do you think? Uh, looks alright, does that line up okay? Yeah, it looks alright to me. Let's see how we do when we put on the next row up. We'll do these ones like that. And uh, what do we reckon, one... One more row by the looks of it. Is that going all the way to the top? A bit difficult to tell from this point. It should, should have done. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So what we're going to do is mess around with 
the um, the models exactly the same as we've done with the, the bottles for the glass there make them into like one big window I've done that with the Pegamastics and the Compies so you can get a really good view and also what we'll do is uh, mess around with the transparency so that it makes it look like there's a, there's a little bit of glass in there uh, yeah so I'm gonna do that I think you've seen me do that before the last couple oh god hang on they're not lined up are they that's all completely wrong. Oh god. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get this lined up properly. I will get the models done and I'll come back once I've done that. Alright guys, I think we're done. Uh, yeah, so I've got the in the other enclosures I had Adobe walls for the top row, so they're in two high windows. But I've uh, matched the uh, transparency with the others and the kind of the, the framing. So you basically have two very large windows to look through. Uh, so now it is time to decorate and we've put them in here and I've named one of them. This is uh, Natsumi, uh, who um, this was, uh, who was it? Who was this, um, um, this was Ren, who uh, I'd asked for a grey and white female Jaboa uh, to be called Natsumi. Uh, so that one is for you. So that was definitely all the names uh, that I have available. So we have another four Jaboas. If anybody else wants any Jaboas, uh, please put down in the comments that you want them. I've got four of them. Um, there's a male, that one's a male. That's a female and that one is a male. So we've got three males and one female uh, to be named if anybody wants those. Um, okay, so time to decorate. I've got some pretty amazing decorations from the uh, Echo Scorched Earth de decor. Basically cactuses and flowers and things. But I've also thought I'll put in a little bit of sort of other decorations and I'm not sure how big these things are. Let's stick these in first um, and we'll see what they look like. Just uh, I thought it might be look quite good. Um, this looks amazing. This is a cart. I'm going to put this up in a corner like that. Looks so cool. Okay, let's see if we can we just pick you up because you might not want to be underneath here. I uh, can't get you. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that with that later. Uh, yeah, so that's that. What about... Um, uh, I'm not too sure about this. That might be a little bit too big. Maybe we could put that in a corner. It might be quite fun. Uh, that, that's fine. I think we'll leave that there. That looks pretty good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we want to put little cactuses in. What about a barrel as well? We could put a barrel up in this corner uh, like that. Just to kind of give it something something different, something unique about this one. So there we go. That's some decorations. And oh yeah, I also want to put in a water trough. I've got these in the other enclosures. Uh, unfortunately, these do seem to snap. And there's nowhere... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll put it there. And uh, we'll fill that with water as well. It looks like it's got um, the water effect. You can't see it very well. And again, I'm not too sure why, you know, whether that's the clear water mod that we've got in here. Maybe that affects it. I don't know. I've not really seen these in the regular game. So I'm not sure of that, how it looks. But okay, so I've got basically a whole bunch of cactuses and um, ferns and flowers and things. So I'm going to mess around and place a few in here. And uh, I think that'll be pretty much all. So let's see if we can make this look really good. Okay, so I've gone crazy with the cactuses and the bushes and the flowers, and I think this looks really nice. I, I'm happy with it. We have bushes up in the corner. We've got some flowers, our barrels. I love these kind of uh, these grasses here. Look amazing. The cactuses and uh, the little wooden cart looks brilliant in here. It really gives it something extra. Uh, this kind of fits in perfectly, and uh, we've got some flowers up in between the outhouse and the water trough. Some more mats of marigolds over here, these kind of bushes and things. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I hope you like it. And I think, I think we're done for today, for this week. Yeah, I'm really quite happy with the progress we've made on this one. Um, so, uh, yeah, we are, uh, you know, 20 odd minutes into the video here. So anybody still watching, you are the super fans of the, of the series. So uh, your opinion really counts. What do you want me to do next week? Um, I can either carry on with this or we could take a break from uh, the small animal house and we could either go back to the lake and do another lake enclosure or we can go into the main part of the zoo and I'm thinking about maybe doing something like a woolly mammoth uh, we can go back to where the uh, so not the mammoth the uh, the rhino we've done the mammoth go back over to the mammoth enclosure and extend it and add in some rhinos um, so yeah so there's three options here we could carry on with uh, this place go back to the lake or do woolly rhino so let me know what you want to see because if you made it this through uh, this far through the video uh, then you are the true super fans of the series and of the channel uh, so your opinion really does matter so let me know what you want to do lake woolly rhino or carry on with the small animal house and uh, i'll i'll do whatever you want to do uh yeah so okay uh, this is pretty much it i hope you like it give me some feedback on the enclosure see what you think 
and um, next uh, Wednesday I'll do an educational special on the Jaboa. Um, I haven't done any research on them whatsoever, and as I say I just recently found out they're a real animal, so I don't I know nothing about them other than people have them as pets sometimes. Um, so I'm not sure how much information there'll be about that, so I don't know how long that video will be, but that will be out on Wednesday. Don't forget to check out the brand new Series 4 of Gaming Evolve Vanilla Series that has just now started. There'll be some more videos of that coming up soon. And of course the Ragnarok series will be continuing as usual. Um, so I hope you're going to check out all those series and uh, continue on with the zoo. Come back next Saturday for the next episode of the zoo. Uh, Wednesday will be the educational special and um, yeah, Season 4 and Ragnarok will be just sort of spread throughout the week uh, on uh, other days as well however, however I how busy I am as how many of those I can get out so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it really do appreciate the likes and the comments that you guys make don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already you can check out my patreon if you're feeling generous uh, follow me on twitter and you can join my discord server as well that'd be fantastic so thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time out goodbye <laughs>